Hello everyone, welcome to Imani's Light Work Keys to Akasha section of my channel. For those of you who are new or you're visiting, welcome. It's great to have you here. Hope that you decide to stay. Um, for those of you who have been here from the beginning of time, I truly appreciate your continuous love and support, okay? Um, so before I begin with the case I'm going to be covering today, I just want to let you guys know that... Um, I have my tarot series running on my Instagram page at amoneyefa777. Please feel free to go over there, partake in the series, um, follow the page. There's a lot of metaphysical uh, interpretations there for the tarot, scientific interpretations for the tarot. So uh, please feel free to support if you, you know, if you're interested in giving donations to the channel. You can always directly message me on there if you have any questions comments concerns about any of these cases and readings you know where to find me okay one important note as well um all my readings are interpreted that means that i'm using my ability and the aid of spirit and connection with the meanings of the cards to get the readings done okay so i am going to be covering the case of malika shabazz um, she was born September 30th, 1965, making her a Libra. She passed away November 22nd, 2021. She was the last child of Malcolm X, okay? So she was the baby, all right? So the, her death claim was that she was found deceased in her Brooklyn apartment, and it was also claimed that she was suffering from a long-time illness, okay? But let's see what information i can gather um i myself am curious anything that comes from me um is what i receive from spirit okay so it's through me clear clear audience wise clear sentient wise what i'm receiving okay and including the interpretation from the deck all right if you want to know what deck this is these are urban tarot cards the name is actually right here in the middle can't really see it because the design is matching okay Let's see I'm getting this idea of opposition with court. Okay, so I believe that I don't know much about her, but I believe that she may have been involved in some, um, she may have been dealing with some legal issues, um, whether that's regarding, um, I'm getting this idea of like trust fund or money that was left for her or money that was left for someone else if it if that makes any sense so I'm sure um, with Malcolm X having have been a part of the nation of Islam there's this um, there's conspiracy surrounding yes there's conspiracy surrounding his passing but or who was involved in it but then there's also this other situation of investments which is why I'm getting the idea of the trust fund and what he may have had in his name to then leave his daughters, if that makes any sense. So the Nation of Islam, there's this, I do believe that there could have been this situation here where him himself, Michael, Malcolm X, may have had... Uh, he may have had a few investments investments meaning I don't know if this is like you know I'm not gonna say commercial properties I'm going to say maybe residential properties maybe even to the movement he may have been making investments investments don't only have to be financial investments they can be um you know there's I mean that would be the biggest investment you know assets and assets multiplying over time enough for him to have for himself and enough for him to distribute to his then wife and to his children okay but let's see what I can pick up here but there's definitely 
a situation I feel like she could have been dealing with um, is kind of giving this idea that she could have tried to access some type of funding or some type of money that was either left for her or was left for someone else that she may have been trying to access at the time of her passing or she I get this idea of time and time again so I feel like that was something that she may have been trying to do time and time again if that's what the spirit is trying to say okay but let's see All right, so if her father had these investments, yes, there's going to be residual income um, that I believe or that I'm trying to channel is that possibly maybe the older siblings have more access to or someone else in the family have more access to and not herself. And then her trying to have access to it would mean that she would have then would have had to been given some type of code or she would have given have to given some type of um what do you call it some type of card or some type of access to an account some type of access to some type of funding that the father definitely left but it feels like the older siblings or i'm also getting this idea of like an aunt like an aunt um, or like a cousin so an aunt or uncle will be considered cousins as well but the spirit is giving me an idea of an aunt so I feel like she I don't know if there was an aunt that was living either on the mother's side or Malcolm X side there's an aunt so it could be like a first generation aunt or second or third generation aunt like a great aunt someone is there that they either passed or they're living that they're kind of intertwined with whatever it is financial that was left for her through her siblings through her father's investments that he made with the nation of islam if that makes any sense okay all right so the lover's energy is here this is a sign of gemini so um i do not know the signs of the siblings i do not know We'll see. I don't know the signs of any other family members or anyone that she would have been dealing with, but there is a Gemini energy here. The lover's energy also is symbolic of a partnership that she could have been in with someone. So partnerships could be like a love partnership. Partnership could be absolutely anything. It does not have to be intimate in nature. It could be business related, love related, um, or you just have some type of financial agreement with someone else. That person may come off as a partner or the qualities or you know at least embody the qualities and attributes of a partner a functional partner all right but this energy is here because i do feel like the lovers is also her working with an attorney i do feel like she could have been in a communication with an attorney because of either her own assets or her own um, her own assets intertwine with that of another family member. So whatever she would have been making by herself, it I tampered with. The spirit said whatever she was making by herself, it was tampered with. Like someone external. So this is someone in the family that may have been tampering with something that she was making. Like money that she was making for herself or tampering with some type of residual income that she may... There's residual income I feel like was left for her and that she's got money for herself that she made that was also being tampered with. Residual income that was left for her is there's the spirit is giving an idea that there's a con, there's an external entity that is in charge of controlling that um they're in charge of accessing and monitoring and controlling that residual income. That residual income is from Malcolm X, um, his investments that he may have been making externally from the Nation of Islam or through the Nation of Islam. So that's where there's conflict with communication and there's conflict with her trying to access it so with her trying to access it it would then look like it would then look fraudulent because it would look fraudulent because for one she may not have been 
this is like the spirit is giving me ideas secluded or excluded either secluded or excluded from a family situation business situation whatever the means may be which is why she can't access anything that her father left investment and in asset wise that the older siblings or the spirit is saying a cousin or aunt or uncle has access to so there's a lot going on there <laughs> there's there's a lot going on there the lovers is coming through like an attorney I could see where she would have I could see where she would have needed an attorney to then help her access that residual income or that residual assets that the father left. But whatever Malcolm X invested, either externally or through the Nation of Islam, those investments would then would have had to multiply and then giving the other students, sorry, why do I say students, not students, they're giving the other siblings access to it. The, that might not have been an accident, the reason why I said students, because something that she may have been dealing with may have been education-wise, or her own education-wise. So I believe she had a daughter. I don't know if any of those sisters may have been teachers or professors or anything like that, or they're affiliated with the field of education, and she could have been a student, or she something was going on like secondary education-wise with something that she was doing that could be intertwined with it as well too i don't know why i said students but i meant siblings the first time i said it okay spirit was trying to say something about that too the seven of valor is here so the seven of wands would imply fire sign energy seven of wands also comes in that's kind of like a court card to me as well too like dealing with opposition with court dealing with i also get paying an attorney she could have had some type of difficulty the attorney could be a gemini or the attorney could be embodying gemini or they have gemini or air in their chart if that makes any sense if she had some type of attorney that was coming off like that. But there's some of the arm of paying them or I also get prominence or some type of keeping something prominent, if that makes any sense. So keeping something prominent would mean keeping her case prominent in a situation like keeping her claim prominent it would be like trying keeping something prominent would be like keeping it important or keeping it on a level of importance so that people and attorneys and you know will pay attention to it and would deem it as important seven of wands energy and then there's this other situation of needing to pay an attorney and trying to figure out ways to pay the attorney so paying the attorney the idea of her paying the attorney and con in connection with what I was picking up before, with her own funds being tampered with, that's because it's her own funds being tampered with, her own assets, whether she made it on her, you know, on her own, or it was something that was left for her, something that she could have invested on her own. There's an issue with her trying to pay the attorney because the funds are being tampered with. So with her hiring the attorney, I also get the idea of a loan. So the attorney could have discussed with her, vice versa, you know, what you can do is I'm going to allow you to give me a loan or you can you can um, you can apply for this loan. But I also get through the nation of Islam. Like, I feel like that could have been something she was doing. I feel like she could have been trying to get some type of, I don't know, it could be like a financial loan, some type of loan that she may have been trying to get through the nation of Islam. And the seven of wands implies that there's difficulty with trying to obtain that through the nation of Islam. Because I, I see what, she's try, I, what she was trying to do. Let me just revisit the situation I was picking up from before. Her father had her father made investments through the nation of islam there is money there that i feel like uh, like her sisters or cousins aunts and uncles like they had access to somebody along those lines did have access to those investments and that residual income she however is i also get targeted she however was targeted and because she was targeted was is because She's being targeted because they don't want her to access 
um, they don't want her to access that income. They don't want her to access like the money that was made through her father's investments, if that makes any sense. They don't want her to access that. Um, I also get this idea of drug charges, like something's going on with drug charges are with her as well too. So that could have been one reason why they didn't want her to access it. I don't know if this has anything to do with her her image um, and what was going on with her singularly, separately from her family. So she, she may have had to uphold certain ideals in order to present or at least come off as presentable to the nation of Islam and to her family. I feel like she could have been really different or non-conventional with her family or you know the ideals that her family was upholding or trying to uphold so that could also be why that including the drug charges whatever there's there's a drug situation that is going on here like i'm looking at the seven of wands as well too and these kind of look like blunts to me so i feel like there's something that um I feel like either she was involved with that or someone was trying to pin that on her as a means to stop her from trying to access money from investments that her father made or the siblings made, some other family members made. But she feels rightfully owed to them, but I was with drug money. She may have been feeling rightfully owed to them, but someone may have been thinking that she was going to use that for drug money to do something with drugs with the money. And, and, it, and some that didn't align with the nation of Islam. That didn't align with the siblings. That didn't li align with their ideals. And so, because it didn't, because it did not align, they are they end up excluding her from the. I get family money. They excluded her from family money. They excluded her from that. So now. She has her own income that is being tampered with. Somebody external that may have been tampering with it may have been realizing that, okay, she's, she needs an attorney so that she can then fight against us to access what she feels rightfully owed. So we don't want that to happen. So what we need to do is we need to create this system surrounding her so that she she can't legitimize or she can't get this access or this, that, and the third, seven of wands. So she, one element about this is if she did have the funds, if she is something, I mean, the spirit is saying, you know, she may have been hurting from this um, and may have really hurt her to see her family and the nation pretty much fight against her in a sense, like they were fighting against her. But the reason why I feel like is because it does have a lot to do with her background or drug and her background intertwined with drug charges that someone didn't want her to, you know, have access to the money. Someone is not wanting her to access, you know, the residual income that the father, you know, from the investments that the father made. So having these drug charges is not fitting the nation's ideals, making it extra hard for her to keep her, her claim and her case prominent so that people pay attention to it or so that something works out for her in her favor and causing her to have to figure out ways and external loans to try to pay off an attorney. The attorney is then giving her those options. This is what you can do to pay me off or to pay for another attorney. Wow, okay. This, okay, that was easier to get through than I thought. Six of Wands energy is here. Six of Valor. All right, I mean, Victory. This is Valor, this is Victory. So, Victory is the opposite of this. Seven of Wands, basically. All right, so the six is that, you know, something may have been working out in her favor as well. She could have had fire in her chart. She was a Libra, but... um. She could have fire in her chart. She's dealing with fire sign energy, like Aries, Leo, Sag, right? But the six of victory is here. So the spirit is giving an idea that the victory is coming through from a court appearance that she went on. Some type of court appearance. The spirit is also giving an idea that she went on multiple of them. I'm getting that idea that she went on multiple court appearances. I'm going to look at the numerological 
connotation to this as well too. This is a seven, so this could have been July. I try to look at it, you know, leading up to the passing in chronological order. Seven of Wands could have been something going on in July that was difficult. I do feel like she could have found out something July this year, 2021 July. Something was difficult or something related to the spirits telling me something about the nation that she found out in July or some type of plan she found out that the nation had in July or a family member formulated in July. Somebody did something in July. What happened there could have been related to residual income, like her own or the family's, which is why something was difficult. Or she found out something about not being able to access it anymore or at all in July. Okay. Then the six could also, I, you know, I kind of went backwards. The six of wands could have been June of this year. So she could have experienced some type of June. I mean, she could have experienced some type of victory in June. And then July pretty much came around with some type of difficulty from the nation and her family. Right? From the nation and her family. Six of wands. But separate from the numerological, numerological connotation, the six of wands and the six of victory would be, it's in the waiting position period, minus, you know, separate from the number or the time period. But the six of wands is that she may have been trying to revisit her case at one point, or an attorney that she may have been dealing with may have been trying to help her, you know, get through her case, or they may have been revisiting her case. Whereas at one point, they wanted more pay. At one point, she discussed with them, I don't know where to get the money from to pay you. I don't know where to get the money from to fund this, to help you do this, right? Or to help you keep my case prominent. How are we going to work together to keep my case? Seven of Wands, Six of Wands. How are we going to work together to keep my case prominent? How are we going to do this? What is the plan? Right? I keep getting the word tamper. So the tampering it could be related to the attorney. The tampering is related to the attorney. The tampering is related to an external entity that was tampering with her funds that either she... Okay, I see what's going on here. It's, it's really tricky. One element about this is that something did work in her favor at one point. That could have been in June, July, whatever. Something could have worked out in her favor at one point. One part of that, uh, for a look, a split second it worked, or it was starting to work because of the attorney that she had. Because of the attorney, right? I'm getting this feeling that someone did make it really difficult to access her own assets, like not not with the family necessarily, but her own money. Someone made it really difficult for her to access her own money because something because something about her own money was drug related. Like I don't know, something about her own money was drug related. Some percentage of her money was drug related. So either that's through a partner that she was dealing with. Or some type of, um, I had a side business. She had some type of side business that someone was drug related about the side business. And whatever she had there was, you know, it would have been considered residual income. But someone made it really difficult. I also get the idea of an ex or like an ex partner of some kind made it really difficult to ask for her to access that money to then pay the attorney I would say it clean like they she could have been clean yes like clean like I don't know if this is like drug physical clean or like coming clean or like um what's the other interpretation that I was getting like clean I don't know if somebody wiped her funds clean that could have been the situation as well too you know or cleaning her name cleaning her record like she needed the funds to clean her record you can pay to clean your record to get your record clean background check clean in order to access something that the father had or assets and residual income that the um, investments that the father had that someone is telling her she can't access because you're like your record is not clean you can't you cannot step up to our ideals with this kind of record basically you need to clean your back you need to clean your name you need to clean your record six of wands seven of wands right so she could have gotten that done like she could have been the spirit has given the idea that she could have been in the works of doing that she was in the works of doing that 
cleaning her record, cleaning her name, cleaning her background, so that she could then be then acceptable to the nation, so she could be acceptable to the nation, to some, or uh, so that the nation would uh, then accept her, or she would then align with the um, align with the ideals of the nation, right? Aligning with the ideals of the nation. The attorney, there is an attorney that she had that she was communicating with. I feel I get heavily bribed. They were heavily bribed to do something to help her, to do something in her favor. At least they, the spirit implied that they were heavily bribed. I don't know if she heavily bribed them or a partner that she was dealing with could have heavily bribed them. Or I don't know, somebody in the nation or family, somebody heavily bribed an attorney to do or not do something in her favor. Which I believe that's in regards to helping her, or it's not. Or it's not. Six of Wands. But the Six of Wands in the wedding position is that she could have been in a situation where if the attorney was heavily bribed, she could have been doing that. Somebody on her side could have been working with her to get that done, to do that with the attorney. To have something six of wands energy then work in her favor. So that could have been related to her background. That could have been related, uh, been related to her record. Cleaning the record. Cleaning the background. Cleaning the name. Paying for the attorney. Paying for the procedure. Paying for getting the loan. Getting the, the, um, the attorney to help with the loan. To get the loan. To pay off something. Pay for the record cleaning. Pay for the new background check. I also get this idea of a name change as well. So she could have been in a situation, I don't know if she was trying to change her name. She could have been in the process of trying to change her name. So that is identity changing about something that she was trying to do. So that's related to like her first name, her last name, or like the name change is related to the ideals of the nation. She could have had to change her name. Do something with her birth certificate. And I get access. When I do something with the birth certificate, that has to do with her accessing something, accessing some type of money, or being able to make an investment, doing something like that. She had to change. She had to change or change her birth certificate to get something done. You know? I see. This is like there's a lot of political there's a lot of political uh, secrecy and on the tone going on here as well too. Um, this feels like there's a U.S. government issue, and then there's also there's a U.S. government issue and policies that she it, there's an obstruction there, or something was really difficult. That's why the seven of wands is there. So something that she had going on with her birth certificate, or having one, obtaining one, not using one, social security number, not having one, making one, getting rid of one—I don't know, something like that. It something about that is like it is it doesn't apply to the nation. Like the nation, I feel I don't know much about the nation of Islam. I know very little, but it seems like you know they're like the Moors almost, if that makes any sense. Where they don't pay taxes, they don't use anything that is. They don't affiliate their construct with the U.S. construct, if that makes any sense. They don't. They did not align with U.S. government policy. So she. She may have been in a situation where she's got this attorney that, that's why I was getting all that ideal, like nation ideal, whatever ideal. She's got this attorney that may have been U.S. government uh, um, appointed attorney that they, it, that doesn't work with the nation, basically. That isn't, it's not working with the nation's policy. Or something that she was, something that she had going on with the nation or just being a child of the nation does not align, seven of wands, six of wands, was not aligning with the U.S. government policies, court policies, with birth certificates and not having one, or social and not having one, or needing to get one. There's policies here that she's trying to deal with with the U.S. government. There's policies that the nation has separately from the government. They don't deal with U.S. government like the Moors. They don't do the taxes. They don't do the stat in the third government, U.S. government-wise. They're an external entity, basically, from anything U.S. government-wise. So I had made it difficult. So when I hit that, it made it really difficult 
for her to then access funds and made it really difficult I get, get record clean. It made it really difficult for her to get her record clean. See, whatever she had going on, U.S. wise and 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 our incarceration and anything like that, it interfered. Yes, it interfered with the, interfered with the ideals of the nation, but at the same time, it's like they at the same time. I feel like she could have been looking to them to be a savior to kind of help her get out of the situation that she ha got herself, you know, that she was in with you, you know, with U.S. government or with U.S. policy, or having an attorney that is a U.S. government appointed attorney, and the nation is like that's not going to work with us. Like we we can't accept you dealing with this person is not a part of the nation. This attorney is not a part of the nation. This is not a nation-appointed attorney. You cannot, you know what I mean? You can you can't do this with this person. Can't do this with this person. Or she could have been dealing with the attorney, and the attorney may have been helping her. But whatever US government policy-wise she was doing with a US government appointed attorney, it clashed with the ideals and perception of the nation. It clashed with them. Whatever there is that they're trying to, because okay, anything Malcolm X investment wise, it that doesn't have anything to do. Whatever it is he had going on with the nation, like that investment wise, asset residual wise, that's really separate from what how he left that <laughs> had nothing to do with U.S. government policy, or maybe a very small percentage of it, or none of it has anything to do with U.S. policy. May not even be in a U.S. bank, or it may not even be, you know, whatever he had investment-wise is not affiliated to any bank that is in the U.S. It's not affiliated. He may even have, you know, situations on the African continent. He may have situations going on in the African continent. On the African continent. Like investment-wise. That she could have been trying to access. Or the Moorish community, the nation, they have their own government running, they have their own military running. That it is not, you know, there's no there is no connection to US policy. So which makes it really difficult for her to then access something that was left for her along those lines. Having access to it, getting it. Accessing it at all. You know, that you're dealing with the U.S. You you got a U.S. attorney. We don't. We're not. We don't accept their policy. How are you going to use a you? You know, their voice, somebody's voices. How are you going to use a U.S. attorney when we don't we don't do anything with U.S. government? So you having a a a, 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 a U.S. court appointed attorney is not going to work our way. It's not going to work our way. Hmm. So it made it really difficult for her to get something done along those lines. Um, there's a lot of fire here. Wow. The two of wands energy is here. So the two of wands in the present would be like patience. Patience to deal with the attorneys. Um, there, there's also a head of the nation that she could have been, you know, like the, you know, what the head of the nation wanted. The head of the nation of Islam. Like the head, like the chair, like the, you know what I mean? The head of the nation. You know, the head of the nation. Right? Something could have been going on with what the head of the nation wanted done, if that makes any sense. The head of the nation, what they wanted done in regards to her access, in regards to her money, in regards to helping her, in regards to her father's investment, in regards to her family and her father's residual income, in regards to that. Right? So the head of the nation could have access to those funds or someone that was like you know someone that's like the president of the nation of islam or the head of the of the chair of the um nation of islam they may have access to her funds or i feel like they know where it is like the spirit is giving the idea that they know where it is they know where her money is or they know 
Um, I'm going to say they have a vault as well, too. They know where her money is. It's maybe kept in a vault somewhere. It's kept in a vault. Or there's there's some type of money that they that Malcolm X made or his investments like somebody has that money kept somewhere or the head of the nation has access to that or they just know where it's being kept. They know where it's being kept, right? If it's in a vault. It's not in a U.S. bank. <laughs> like uh, it's some of one six of ones. It is not in a U.S. bank. It's there is no U.S. government connection to the nation whether they're in the United States or not <laughs> there's they have no they don't use US banks they do not they do not they do not use they do not file taxes right but I feel like that's something that caused that could have caused a problem for her so the tax situation could have caused a problem for her like something tax related is going on with her you know, so either it's like not filing them or somebody filing her. Somebody could have been filing her. Someone could have been filing her. Whether she filed or was unable to file or she went by the nation's ideals and she didn't do anything tax wise, somebody else filed for her or somebody else filed her or they used her documentation. Right? They use certain documentation. I keep getting this idea of like, I don't know if it's like an aunt, some type of cousin, like an aunt, an uncle, uh, a third cousin, an aunt, somebody like that has does something along those lines with her documentation, you know, with her documentation, her records, her trying to clean her records, you know. Then if she has something going on with her birth certificate, like there's an issue with like I don't know if then like the nation has her birth certificate and then her birth certificate being like her birth certificate being accessible by like US court or her accessing it to attend a US court meeting with her attorney. So then there's two of mine, there's this issue with her birth certificate. I was also getting the idea of like name changes and things of that nature. I don't know if it's social security related, birth certificate related, two of wands. So without those things, without those things, it, what she would have been trying to do would have been obsolete. It would have been obsolete. Because you have two, gov you have two governmental systems going on here. You have two... I have one, yeah, two governmental systems, but one of them being like legitimate in nature, because it doesn't. One of them does not, you know what I mean. If you're dealing with the nation, they're not, you know, they're not aligned with U.S. policy. They're not aligned with U.S. policy. So whether she could have been trying to get a birth certificate, like her own birth certificate, whether it is owned or is is in what do you call it? It is. Um, it's in the property of the nation and things of that nature. If she had a birth certificate, it's in the property of the nation. So then there's this issue of trying, then there's this issue of trying to then obtain that. Trying to obtain that. Or trying to make that. Or trying to make a, get a social. Because what she's trying to do with a U.S. appointed attorney is that they can't accept her money. They can't accept anything that she wants to do claim-wise, case-wise, if she has no documentation under the U.S. policy or under the U.S. government. She has, she would then have no documentation. So then she needs to then figure out a way to then obtain the documentation that someone is plus two of ones with the seven of ones. Someone isn't allowing her to access her own documentation. Because the nation may have, the nation may have her documentation like in their property. They have some type of documentation that belongs to her. They have that documentation, but they're not, they're not, somebody isn't giving her or allowing her to access it because it there's like two it would then cause a huge uproar because then it would look like two governmental constructs constructs and 
fighting against each other before trying to access Cologne. Like, it would have ended up, oh my god. It would have ended up being really chaotic for the nation because of her father and then because of her she not having or she trying to obtain documentation that it either exists or it needed to be made or she she couldn't access it to get something done court wise so then that, that would have caused a whole uproar with the nation it would, kind of, it would have caused a whole uproar like what was going on with her in the court that could have caused a problem with the US with the US court that would have caused a problem Right? You know what's coming to mind? I don't know why, but like, it's making me think of the, um, the, um, the African, um, on the continent, but the country, I don't know what kind of affiliations Malcolm X had to any, like, African, um, any African nations, like, uh, Niger, like, Niger is coming to mind. I don't know if it's like Liberia, like, something like that, um, Something's going on with like their policies. Like there's a there's an African like on the continent. There's a country. I'm not too sure, but it's coming to mind for some reason. The idea. Like I feel like he may have had he may have had some type of governmental tie with one of the African countries, like Niger or Liberia. One of them where I get safe keeping so when I said that there's something that he had there that he may have kept or had it sent or he had, he had it there um, whether that's documentation or it's money that is being kept there so then that could have been you know that could have been his responsibility that he had with the nation you know to keep some type of private, you know, to keep money, safeguard some money, safeguard documentation in one of the African countries, like Liberia or Niger, somewhere. Like Niger was coming to mind. I don't know what the deal is. I'm just giving an example, but that's what I was picking up. Like, that's what I'm thinking. That's coming to mind. But like Liberia, anywhere, Ethiopia, I don't know, somewhere, South Africa, there's some. There, they align with those policies. And I'm getting this feeling that I also get the idea that something was, may have been sent there. So that may have something to do with her own documentation. Or that has something to do with, I also get pay. It has something to do with some type of pay that she could have been trying to obtain for someone. Or pay for herself or money, investment money and things that I feel like he could have, he could have invested in something in one of those countries I named. He could have invested something there. Or he left something there like the spirit said for safekeeping. So I don't know if he got a chance, you know, he could have traveled to the African continent to one of those countries to then to do some type of um I also I also get this idea of a peace offering. Like he could have done something there with a peace offering. But the peace offering has to do with some type of governmental protection for his children or like governmental protection for some type of documentation that he did a peace offering with someone or he did some type of um what do you call it he signed off on someone to then safeguard or it's if it, it's with the government of another of an African um of one of the African continent the countries one of the countries that he's got, that he had some type of, um, I always get secrecy, there's secrecy there, but I do feel like there's, that like he had a pact or with one of those governmental policies from one of the countries in Africa, that he's got his, he left, he's got like his documentation there or, and for his children, or he's got some type of funds there. So that may be something that she knows, or that the older sister knows, or the mother knew. Like somebody knows that that something that Malcolm X did some type of investment or there, or he did some type of peace offering, or 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 he's got some type he had some type of tie there to protect some type of money or documentation in Niger, Liberia, somewhere, one of those places. So that could have been something that she, I don't know if that's something that she knew, or like someone in the family knew, 
And that could also be why it may have been making it difficult for her to get some type of pay or access something that is, was hers. Some accessing something that was hers. And it could have something to do with documentation. It could have something to do with documentation. So I'll give you a really interesting example. Say, say I, you know, say I don't want, or say someone doesn't want their information to be found by a U.S. government official, for example. So, and then what they do is they then send it to a country that they feel has title security and that can safeguard that, those documents and that information. I feel like that's something that, but that's what Malcolm X did, like with his own things, with his family's things, and our, our uncle, someone that is like a cousin knows that, or they're involved with that, or someone in the nation knows that, or if someone in like a higher up in the nation is responsible for initiating initiating that, or they just know that, if that makes any sense, okay. That's a lot of information. The strength card is here, a sign of Leo that's in the future. I mean, it makes sense, you know, based on the example, it wouldn't make sense. Like, if somebody doesn't want, what's an interesting situation? Someone doesn't want their documentation to be discoverable, like, online, or they don't want it to be found. They don't want people to know where their assets are going. They don't want people to know where their documents are. They don't want people to search up their documents. And, you know, the U.S. kind of has that, like, the U.S. government kind of has that open system where you could just find anything about anyone, especially if you're dealing with birth certificates and identifications. So that could have been something that he did for himself and for his family. Like leaving it in a different country so that nobody has access to it. So the issue with, with what she had going on, it somehow that conf what she's trying to do, I also get what she started talking about. So it has something to do with what she was starting to talk about. So she could have been talking about that and or she brought up to someone. She brought up to a US a US attorney that the nation is like she's sharing our nation secrets with this U.S. attorney, and you know this doesn't align with us. It's not aligning with us. She could have been talking to the attorney about trying to figure out a way to access something that she knows that is hers or was her father's or the family's that is in another country or another district or another state, country, district, state that she's trying to access, and the nation is like no. You know, this is this is our secrecy. We cannot reveal this about our 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 construct. We cannot have this revealed about our construct. Hmm. <sighs> the ace of this is here. So the ace of this would be a job, you know, that's in her instincts. This could have something to do with the kind of work she was doing, um, like something going on with her job and taxes and money and payments and um, her own income job and instincts right job and the instincts is a disc what is happening here may be her, her work is work related to her you know but I get paperwork so what she had going on with her job is something's going on with paperwork for her job or something that, you know, paperwork, or like, you know, obtaining the paperwork, having access to the paperwork, or who had access to the paperwork for her job. Because it, it could have been tax related, is the reason into why someone wanted access to her paperwork. You know, access to her paperwork. Right? Let me look at the accomplishment. The Knight of Cups energy is here, the seducer. So the Knight of Cups next to the Seven of... The Knight of Cups could be a male or female. This energy could be a family member. It would be a water sign that's a male or a female. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Next to the Seven of Wands. So this person or one of these people could be the energy of an attorney. It could be the energy of a sibling as well. Or like someone that she was dealing with with her own, you know, what she, her legalities that she had going on here. 
You know, it was major what she had going on from legalities. It's major because of the nation's ideals. It was major because of who was working against her along with these ideals that the nation had, it clashing with the ideals and the policies of the U.S. Things potentially how they have been left by her father in another country or state or district. And then having a fair way to, you know, she knows that there is money there. She knew that there was money there. And then the issue is how to access the money, how to get to the residual income. Someone is thinking that, you know, someone may have been drug related about the usage of the money that she was making from getting from her own job or money that she wanted to obtain and have access to for the nation, her father, her father's investments, her father's residual income. How to access that? How to use that? Someone is thinking, you know, the drug charges, the drug charges would also imply needing to pay them off. Like, that's what I was getting the idea of pay. Needing to pay not only the attorney, but needing to pay off the drug charges. Needing to pay for the clean slate. Right? Needing to pay for those things. Someone may not have wanted her to have access to the money so that she could then pay off those things. Like pay off the um pay off the charges. Like drug charges cost money. That's why they add the word charge in there. <laughs> like drug drug charge. Not only that you're being charged, but drug charges, meaning that there's there would then be an accumulation of the charge. There, there's an accumulation of what type of charge it is. That needs to be paid. That needs to be paid. The Nine of Cups energy is bringing in a conflicting matter. They're there because there's some. They're there because they, you know, there's a conflicting matter surrounding them, or there's a conflicting matter surrounding her protection with them, and their own protection, them being protected. They could have been stopped. Like this person that she was dealing with, they are. They're an attorney. They're someone that was working with her on the case. Whatever is it there? Whatever the reason that they're present. They may have been making it may have been getting stopped. I kind of see the wands energy to be the energy of the nation or the or the um not only the energy of the nation but possibly the energy of court and the nation and needed to deal with those kind of legalities. Nine of cups next to the seven of wands. They I get fear for their life. This person may have been fearing for their own life for some reason. They were fearing for their own life. They could have been a partner that was attached to her. Someone that she was dealing with. They could have been fearing for their own life. This could have been an attorney. Someone that, you know, like a, what do you call those people? An attorney, a lawyer. They could have been fearing for their own life. Some type of assistant to her or a mentor to her. They were fearing for their own life because they were involved with her. That's why I was getting the idea of being heavily Bribed. Like, if this is the energy of an attorney, they were heavily bribed. Or a mentor, the mentor may have been heavily bribed. <laughs> Whatever it is. But the heavy, that's why I was getting the idea of pay. The heavy bribing is because someone was afraid of their, it was afraid for their own life. Because there's something that's military style about, something that is military style about the nation. Or the constructs of the nation. Right? I mean this idea of backing out too. So the Knight of Cups next to the Seven of Wands. Is they try to back out. They may have tried to back out multiple times. From doing something with her. For her. They try to back out multiple times. That's why the Seven of Wands is right next to them. But then the Six of Wands. Is that the Six of Wands with the Knight of Cups. Is that they may have been close to getting something. That's what I was picking up from earlier. They may have been close to getting something to work in her favor. With the Six of Wands in the waiting position. Six of Wands brings in the energy of finalizations. She may, might have been trying to wait on from the Nine of Cups. Helping her. Finalizations. Right? But the one element about this. One 
it's this movie is really simple like i mean it's simple to the point where it's straight to the reason into why things are happening the way they are is that her trying to access money someone does not want her to access because of her u.s government affiliation or her own documentation the knight of cups is i i i managed to pinpoint where your documentation is not a cups. I managed to this that's their conversation to her. I managed to pinpoint where I was getting birth certificate. I managed to pinpoint where your birth certificate is. I managed to point I managed to I managed to get this for you. I managed to pinpoint this. I managed to figure out where that money is. I managed to figure out where your father's last investment was. I managed to figure out where your payment went. I managed to figure out these things. That's why I was getting the idea with her own funds being tampered with. I managed to figure out where that deposit went, where that tax paper went. I managed to figure out these things for you. Seven of Wands, it was difficult with them at first. But because they were heavily bribed, they followed through. They followed through. They do have protection though. Like the Nine of Cups has protection. They have protection. They may still have protection. They may have been thinking that they weren't going to have it because of, like, I was like conspiracy. They were thinking they weren't going to have it because of conspiracy. Or them being in, they, they may have been thinking that, or someone may have been thinking, okay, they're involved in this. They're, you know, they were conspiring to do this with her. Whatever, she was conspiring to do this, that, and the third with them. Or some of the conspiracy surrounding her passing that could also be why they also didn't know she was going to pass as well. Like they didn't know something was going to happen to her. Or they were thinking something was going to happen to themselves because of their involvement with her. They were thinking that for some reason. They were thinking that. They could have been a drinker too. Nine of Cups. There's cups here. They could have been drinking. Like they could have been. I had stress. They were drinking because of stress as well. Somebody was. I don't know if they were in her presence. They could have. I don't know if they were like in her. You know, whoever they are. They could be an attorney, a friend. You know what I mean? That she confided in. An attorney, a mentor. Someone who is doing research to pinpoint where her birth certificate and social and money and taxes and all that, where that went, who has access to it or how to access to it or where it is. And they're, they're paranoid with the procedure and she or someone that is attached to her is heavily bribing the person. I need you to stay in this game with me. I know it's hard. I know you're scared. They end up drinking. They could have been drinking in her presence. Or they were drinking all the time. You know, they were stressed out from the situation, whoever they were. The Ten of Wands, Ten of Depression is there in her spiritual self. You know, the, the spiritual energy of the case, Ten of Wands. You have a Leo here as well. So you have all this fire. Um, all Aries, Leo, Sag. You have a Leo there in the flesh. Nine of Cups, Can Scorpio, Pisces there in the accomplishment. Ten of Wands, something is difficult. In her spiritual self she battled there's oppression because if you look at the card you know this is incarceration or she could have been incarcerated before or she could have been fearing incarcer being incarcerated again being incarcerated again right well the idea of being incarcerated period is why she didn't have any access to you know to what her father left whether the father, whether Malcolm X left anything money-wise in a different country. I was getting that feeling. Like I feel like that's either that's something that the siblings did or an aunt, an uncle or an aunt or an uncle did that may have been a part of the nation, something that they did. Now they've got governmental ties to another country in on the African continent. Where well, there's money that something it belongs to Malcolm X that is there. That is there. Ten of Wands. Right? The Ten of Wands and her spiritual self because could also be her her spiritual beliefs, like her her like religious beliefs as well. There something that could have been conflicting about her religious beliefs. 
next to the six of wands that may her religious beliefs and what she that her religious beliefs is tied into the governmental policies like for example you know not getting not getting a vaccine not getting the vaccine because you are a Muslim, not getting, you know, not doing blood transfusions because you are, you know, you're Islamic or you're Muslim, not, or you're Jewish, not getting those things done. Not putting your money somewhere because of, of not putting your money in a particular system because of a, a religious belief. So that, that was conflicting with the attorney. You know, that was conflicting. But if, if this is in a, in a U.S. appointed attorney and them being, they've got this heavy, seven of wands next to them, they've got this heavy fear with dealing with her is that they, I was getting losing a job. They may have been thinking they were going to lose their job because, because their help, their choosing, they were choosing to help someone that, is pretty much against any kind of U.S. policy or a family is against any kind of U.S. policy is against that construct that's why they were fearing they could have been fearing for their own life from the U.S. government <coughs> they could have been fearing for their own life <coughs> because they're helping her she's a part of the nation these are two ent you gotta understand these are two entities that they are clashing so then he's being appointed to, to then help her. But the only reason for it is because, because of her previous of incarceration that she experienced. That's the only reason. So someone, someone that, you know, someone that she, like, you know, when you're, when somebody's incarcerated, they, they're being, you know, they're given a patrol, they're, I mean, they're given a parole officer, they're given an attorney to help them through the, you know, to help them through the imprisonment process, and, and also when they come out. That's why the person was afraid. They didn't know what to expect with her. They didn't may not know. They may not even have known at some point what to expect with her because of her involvement with the nation or her being a child of the nation. Her being a child of the nation. You know. That's conf that ended up being really conflicting. Her status, her 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 oppression, her like her background, her um her incarceration, right? The nine of swords energy is in the uh what is this? That's in mentality with the job. So she could have had a job at the time of her passing. She could have had a job at the time of her passing. Right? You know something? I'm looking at the Nine of Swords, and this almost kind of, I know it sounds crazy, this almost kind of looks like like a wooden doll, like a, like a child almost. It's small, like a child with the Nine of Swords. So I feel like, I don't know, I know it says she had a daughter. I don't know if something was, was something was going on with the daughter in the relationship that she had with her, her child. You know? I'm being drawn back to the word camper. So as I'm talking about the child, like her daughter, something could have been tampering. I don't know if the daughter tampered with something that she had going on. Or the daughter could have been dealing with her attorney secretively. The daughter may have been dealing with her attorney secretively. Someone in the family was interacting. That's why the person was scared. So I feel like someone in the family or the daughter or someone may have been interacting or secretly interacting with her own with her attorney. So the heavily bribed, the he the daughter could have wanted something. The daughter knew about something and may have wanted something, and they could have interacted with the attorney, her attorney. They interacted with them. So their paranoia is just <laughs> like the, the their paranoia is just like they they they're getting communication from her daughter. They're getting communication. I keep getting this idea of a cousin. They're getting communication from a cousin, an aunt or uncle, someone that is that is taking on the role of an aunt or uncle and the daughter. 
like the own attorneys is is in communication with them as well too. So one of them could have been involved in bribing that person. That's why the person is afraid. That's why the person is they're like afraid, but they're protected at the same time. They're either protected by the nation or they're protected by the U.S. government. Or they're protected. They have some type of protection. But I also was getting that they also didn't think that she was going to pass, if that makes any sense. They also didn't think so, or I mean, they didn't know, know how. They didn't know how she was going to pass. They didn't know how. So they may have been, they may have known that she was going to pass, and they just didn't know how. Like they may have had some type of inkling of how she was going to pass, but they just, like, okay. They may have known she was going to pass. They didn't know how she was going to pass. If that makes any sense. Okay? It's creepy, right? What's changing is the Queen of Cups. So I don't know the I don't know. You got a Gemini underneath. You got Gemini. You got Leo. You got a Knight of Cups. Um water sign. A Knight of Cups will be a water sign that is like in their twenties, thirties. You have a Gemini energy underneath there. Then you have the Queen of Cups would be someone that would have been her. She could be embodying Queen of Cups energy or she was dealing with an external Queen of Cups energy. You can't Scorpio Pisces that is in her age group or that's in their 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s even. They're in the changing position. They're in the changing position. So they could be a sister. This could be her sister. I feel like the Knight of Cups is like a mentor, a parole officer, they're like an attorney. There's someone that is definitely government appointed to do something and help her out with something or not help her or whatever it is. That's why the Ten of Wands is here with the Six of Wands, with the opposition, with this Knight of Cups and possibly a Queen of Cups. And the Gemini and a Leo, something's going on with them as well too. Something's going on with them. Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is in a changing position. I also get not working on case. This person may have left her case. They could have been on her case before and they left it. Or they chose at the last minute to not work on her case. Someone has gone on with not working on, on her case. So this person may have been involved with her case and they're not working on her case anymore so that could have been a sibling or another it sounds like it could have been a sibling or another attorney or someone in the family or or being involved with her case if that makes any sense that's why they're in a changing position then they decided to extract themselves from her case they could have extracted themselves from her case and then this person is then put on to it. This person is then put on. But the, this person is scared and paranoid. You know, they could have been asked to do something. Like, this person could have been asked to do their the accomplishment. They could have been asked to do something specific. That's why I was getting that they knew she was going to pass. They just didn't know how. And something is important about that circulating around their energy. Alright? Queen of Cups and changing. The Four of Pentacles is in the resolution going towards a Leo or the, just the Strength card. So, Four of Pentacles would be holding on to whatever money that she had left. Holding on to whatever money she had left. You know? That could have been why the Queen of Cups energy is like a therapist. That literally could have been her therapist. I forgot to name the occupation. This person could have been a therapist to her that was on her case. A therapist. Like a therapist. Like someone who, I was that visited her at home. Someone that visited her at home. Knight of Cups could have, I don't know. The Knight of Cups, I feel like, is someone that is new. That they, they, they were newly appointed to her. They could have been newly appointed attorney, mentor, or therapist of some kind. Mentor. They were newly appointed to her, but she, but this person, Knight of Cups, knew about replacement. They knew about a Queen of Cups energy being some type of replacement, like a replacement, a replacement attorney, a replacement therapist, right? So, I don't know if she was in a situation, this also kind of feels like, um, 
This time I'm in a health professional. I'm looking at the Queen of Cups. They're, they are, were also a health professional. Like a practitioner of some kind. They are a health professional. They could have been responsible for diagnosing her. And this person, this man of Cups energy, whether they were an attorney, their friend, their whoever they are, a mentor of some kind, they knew... They had medication. They knew about medication that was prescribed to her. And the medication that was prescribed to her, that's why this person was, is afraid, or they could be afraid now. They could be afraid now off of knowledge of something that they know. They could be afraid, or they're fearing for their life, or they're paranoid. But they know, or they knew, of some type of medication that a Queen of Cups energy prescribed. Or they left somewhere, or they told that, or that she was prescribed to take. She was prescribed to take some type of medication, right? I'm getting the idea of like the heart, uh, the um, like a heart valve as well, like her heart valve, one of her heart valves. One of the heart valves could have burst, or something happened because of some type of medication that she was that she was that she was given. For some type of condition, some type of medication she was given. I keep looking. I'm looking at the drinks as well too with the Nine of Cups. That's why I was getting that. This is someone I get knows. They know what happened, or they knew. That's what I was getting. Like they know. They know how. They knew how she was going to pass, but they didn't. They knew she was going to pass. They didn't know how. The reason that they didn't know how was because I had a prescription. The reason they didn't know how was because of, because of some type of prescription that a Queen of Cups energy gave. So this could be, I don't know if that's a, like, a, like a nurse or some type of practitioner that she had an interaction with. Alcohol could have been involved. I keep looking at the cups. Alcohol could have been involved as well. Alcohol could have been involved there. Alcohol and the daughter, you know what I mean. Someone was also bribed. I don't know what the bribing energy is coming through as. Like I don't know if this is like some type of like something going on with the medication, something crazy. Like something is something is interesting there that is happening as to the reason why somebody was bribed the way they were. But I feel like she was definitely, there's some type of prescription medication that she, she was given or that she was taking. She was taking some type of prescription. Like the four of pentacles, these pentacles kind of like pills to me. With a strength card. The strength card, it could be the sign of Leo that is here as well too. But I, I feel like this is like hospitalization and possibly even resuscitation. I'm getting the idea of resuscitation. The cruelty with the line of swords is she I get in the hospital. There's some type of there's cruelty cruelty possibly in the husp like in a hospital setting, like before she passed, some type of cruelty. Some type of cruelty like she could have experienced in a hospital setting before she passed. Whatever that cruelty whatever the cruelty means, whatever the cruelty was related to. The cruelty could have been related to it's bringing me back to like drugs or like like a drug charge. The cruelty could be related to a drug charge that she experienced in a hospital setting. So I don't know if she was trying to obtain medication like for what she could have been trying to obtain it for pain or she could have been trying to you know what I mean she could have been in a situation here where, I was getting abusing medication. She could have been abusing medication. She could have been abusing some type of medication. But I feel like she experienced something strange with a hospital visit. I had days prior. So when I said that there was or some type of appointment, like she experienced some type of cruelty or someone some type of strange interaction with someone days prior to her passing so the knight of cups could be involved with that or i feel like it's a queen of cups energy the knight of cups i feel like is a is giving me a male but it could also be a female that they know they they knew she was going to pass but they did they didn't know how i can get it because of a prescription like they knew because of uh they knew but they didn't know how 
because of, of a prescription that she was given. Queen of Cups energy is responsible for giving the prescription. Or they were asked to give the prescription. Some type of prescription. But something happened with her heart valve. Like these kind of look like nerves and veins. These swords kind of look like nerves. I get burst. One burst. One burst. One of them burst inside. Because uh, it could be stress related or any type of prescription. It's, it's the type of prescription that Queen of Cups energy gave. I don't know if there's a Leo here as well. It's the, it's the type of prescription that um, I get taken for a while. Sometimes it's, it's the type of prescription she was. That's why this person, that, whether they're an attorney, a mentor, a friend, that's why this person, Knight of Cups, they knew she was going to pass. They didn't know how because she was prescribed something specific that she may have been taking over time that it caused something to burst. Like it caused like a heart valve or something to burst. Something burst somewhere. Something burst. I don't know if she was taking the medicine with like alcohol necessarily, but something burst inside, like internally. Something burst. Something burst. Wow. I'm feeling like Queen of Cups energy should be confronted. Like the spirit is saying that she should be confronted. She should be confronted. I mean, they claim that she had an illness, but it's like they, they're being really discreet about what that illness looks like because you could take anything, you know what I mean? You could take anything. You could take anything. And, you know, it's, it's one thing that just, you could take anything for something, but it's, if it has some type of adverse effect, that's, that's the problem. That's where it's having. But I also feel like something is also intentional. So something is intentional. Strength card, nine of swords. Something is intentional that is going on there, which is really interesting. All right, let me do an outcome on this. Something is intentional. It's like, it's almost like, I get her money. Something is intentional, yes, with the money and it accessing the money. And, and it could also be like who that money is going to go to now. It could be who the money is going to go to now. You know, it's a portion of that may go, a portion of it may go to, um, a portion of it may go to like an attorney that was working on her case. You know, a portion of it may go to an attorney that was working on her case. But something is definitely going on with prescription medication. There may have this alcohol here. If she, I don't know if she was drinking as well, or somebody was drinking that she was dealing with. Like dealing with in the sense where they were like helpers to her, they were an attorney, they were a mentor, whatever it was. They just they knew of some type of prescription medication that she was due to receive. She received it. And and they didn't know how she was going to pass. For some reason, somebody knew something was going to happen. They just didn't know how it was going to happen. I keep getting that idea. All right. Let me look at an um, outcome here for her. And that's what led somebody knowing that and not stopping it is because... Uh, I was a bit afraid to work for her. Like someone was afraid to work for her or help her do something. Like somebody was afraid to, I don't know, something was strange about that. Somebody was afraid to, for some, to do something with her or for her. And that's involved with tampering with the nation or, or tampering with, uh, I also get documents. That has something to do with tampering with documents. Tampering with, do her tampering with documents. You know what I mean? her tampering with documents or her attorney tampering with documents for her or the or an attorney tampering with access to something for her so that's why when she she's going to the doctor she's going to do these things somebody's like aware of something I can give this pres like a prescription and being prescribed someone that someone is aware she could have shared what she got prescribed 
She could have shared what she got prescribed. Someone just knew what she was prescribed, but they didn't say anything. The star energy is here, sign of Aquarius. Um, the star energy is there because there could be, I don't know, Leah, an Aquarian, a Gemini, a Leo, a Knight of Cups, water sign, male or female, Queen of Cups, water sign, female. There's different people involved to some whatever the proximity is. Whatever the proximity, the reason into why they're involved. Right? So the star is a sign of Aquarius. So she could have been dealing with an Aquarian as well. The star energy is that um, something that have been working in her favor at one point. That's why the star is there as well. Or something's going on with an oh uh oh. Or something is going on with an Aquarian energy. I don't mean to drop that card. I'm about to end it anyway. Um, something's just going on with an Aquarian energy, to be specific. Right? So, this could be someone that worked at a hospital or a doctor's office that she, you know, that she was, um, that she was visiting. And, and that's why the Nine of Swords is there. That's the only air, the element that's there is... The star resides with the nine of swords. Like somebody knew, you know, somebody knew what she was getting. Something was important about what she was prescribed. I keep getting the idea. Something is really important about what she was prescribed. Or there needs to be an investigation into what she was prescribed to take. Or what she was given in a hospital setting, or what she was given at a doctor's, a private physician's office, or what she was given. So it has to do with a prescription. I just I can't go away from that idea. If there's a prescription, so the Aquarian energy could be someone who works at a doctor's office or a hospital that she visited to get some type of prescription, and someone knows. Somebody, there's elements here that they know, they know why she was prescribed something, or they know, they know what they know what it was. They know they knew that she was going to pass, and they didn't know. Somebody didn't know how, so she could have been prescribed something a while ago, and she was just taking it without researching it. She could have been taking it without researching it. Or I don't know she was taking it wrong. Whatever it is. Alright, so that was Malika Shabazz um, case coverage. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns in regards to it, you know where to find me. May your spirit go with peace. We will take care. Bye.